I'm about to go out of town for a few days, literally just a couple of hours before I leave for the airport. And I want to share with you guys some tips and tricks and things to do for when you go on vacation while owning pet chameleon. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Check this out guys, I now have new Neptune the Chameleon merch. It's super cute. I went for like a neon light, you know, kind of vibe here. So it just says Neptune the Chameleon with this cute little chameleon drawing and then established 2018 because that's when I got Neptune and the whole brand Neptune the Chameleon was born. I try to keep the color scheme with the Ambilobi color. So the blue, yellow, green, and red red <laughs> so this is the front but what's super cool about this design is there's also a back so check it out we have the cute little chameleon eating the bug off of the monstera leaf so this is great for reptile expos or if you just want to put your hair in a cute ponytail but now it has a front and a back this comes in t-shirts hoodies tank tops crew necks um, there's even a backpack <laughs> design so thank you in advance for anyone who decides to support me in my commands through purchasing the merch if you do end up getting some feel free to Send me a picture, would love to see you guys rocking your Neptune the Chameleon merch. When it comes to vacation and chameleons, there are kind of two factors we need to keep in mind. One is how old is your chameleon? A baby chameleon requires daily feeding versus an adult chameleon can go a couple of days without eating. The other thing to keep in mind is how long is your vacation? Is it just a quick weekend trip or is it a three week extravaganza? Those two factors are going to drastically impact your vacation care and what you do with your chameleon while you go out of town. I would not encourage that you take your chameleon with you in any of these scenarios. Some people ask me, you know, if they can bring their chameleon on a, a road trip or, you know, they're going to go, you know, vacation in Miami for three weeks. Should they bring their chameleon? I wouldn't keep them in their enclosure, keep them at home, and instead try and find someone who will visit to check on your chameleon. But we'll get into that in just a little bit. So, my first piece of advice is automate as much as possible. If things are on timers, if things will turn on and off by themselves, then you don't have to be there. You don't have to worry about it. So things like your lights and your misters are the two most common things and easiest things really to automate. So you can get an outlet timer or a smart plug, tons of options when it comes to throwing your lights on timers. That way they'll turn automatically on and automatically off, ensuring that there's no lights on at night and that your chameleon is still getting the proper temperatures and UVB throughout the day. If you don't already have an outlet timer or some way to automate that, I highly encourage that you do that regardless of if you go on vacation. So now we have to worry about water. If you get an automatic misting system, then that also takes that off your plate. You don't have to worry about misting by hand or anything like that. So I use a Miss King misting system, the starter. There's also the ultimate. That's a lot. <laughs> you only have a couple of chameleons. The starter is great. I know the Miss King has a pretty hefty price tag with it, but lucky for you, I have discount codes with a couple different reptile supplier, reptile supply suppliers. There we go. <laughs> Who do carry the Miss King. So then you can get 10% off. So feel free to check out my discount links. They're always linked down below. But that is my absolute favorite. There are some other misting systems, automatic whatever's on the market. I personally don't think they're as great as the Miss King. I've made a couple of videos why if you want to go into that and research more about misting systems. So we've got our lights on timers, our misting systems automated. So the other big thing is food at that point, right? So that's kind of what I was saying before, a baby versus an adult. If you have an adult chameleon, I wouldn't worry about having anyone check on them for a weekend trip. If I'm leaving Friday, coming back Monday or Tuesday, I don't sweat it. I'll feed my chameleons on that Friday and then when I get back and they'll be fine over the weekend without having food because they're adults. And my adults only get fed every three to four days anyways. So that's their normal, they'll be totally fine. Now I have baby Venus. So she has to eat every single day because she's only four months old. So what do you do in those scenarios? In that case, I would encourage that you find someone to come and check on your chameleons. I do have a friend who's local to me who has a panther chameleon and has reptiles. So I feel comfortable and confident in entrusting her to come and make sure that the bugs are properly gut loaded, supplemented, and more importantly, just keeping an eye on the chameleons, making sure there's not any abnormal behavior. So if you can find someone in your life that is comfortable handling live bugs, that'd be awesome. I totally get if that's not, you know, that's a little bit challenging or your family members 
aren't okay with the bugs, maybe there's an opportunity for you to have them kind of pre-portioned in a cup. So then they're already there and maybe just have like a little carrot in there and then dust them. They're not gonna be as gut loaded or supplemented as if you did it yourself, but at least your chameleon's still being fed. And honestly, if your baby chameleon just goes like two or three days without eating, as long as you give them a good meal before and after, they'll still be okay. Obviously, ideal scenario would be to feed them every day, but if you gotta let them go a couple days, and I only mean a couple, I'm not talking like <laughs> weeks, then they should be fine. The second thing I do before I go on vacation is I make sure to fill my Miss King water bucket reserve that holds all of my water into my misting system. I fill that sucker all the way to the tippy top ensuring that my commands have plenty of water because the last thing I'd want to happen is for the water to run out. I also make sure that my lights and timers and everything like that are working and I don't have to worry about it. Third thing I do before I leave is make sure that I feed my command. So that's go loaded and supplement. Same thing that I normally do. Sometimes I will throw an extra couple of bugs in there if I know I'm gonna be gone for like two, three days without being able to feed them. Um, like I said, you can adjust this needed in the age of your command. Definitely plays a big factor in that, but you can definitely do that before you go out of town. And fourth thing I do is make sure I coordinate with my friend to ensure that they know when they need to come over. I'll typically write out instructions, make it super easy. These are the supplements, these are the bugs. The bugs have already been gut loaded because I can do that before I leave. And then they know which bugs go where and then put them into the canine enclosures. And the fifth and final thing that I do is make sure that I have some sort of camera set up in the room. I know that sounds kind of weird, but this helps me make sure that all the lights are on and off. The camera isn't able to see like the individual chameleon because the camera is not on their enclosure. It's just in the room pointing towards the enclosures. But that gives me peace of mind to make sure that like the power didn't go out in my home or the heat bulb burnt out. That's happened before as out of town, one of the heat bulbs burnt out. And so then I just texted my friend and she came over and then was able to replace the heat bulb. No problem. I wouldn't have known that if I didn't have the camera. Plus it just is nice to be able to check on them, right? When you're out of town and you, you know, we definitely think about our chameleons while we're gone. So having that camera is nice. I use the ring camera and I have that linked on my Amazon store if you want to check it out. So you guys have it. Those are five things I do before I go out of town. Let me know down in the comments below what tips and tricks you have for taking a vacation while you have pet commands, pet reptiles. It's not always easy, but I will say because you can automate everything, it's a lot easier to travel with reptiles, with chameleons versus say a cat or dog or other animals. So one of my favorite things about owning them is how simple and easy it is to travel, at least for a couple of days. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe so you don't post a new video. Follow Neptune and all my commands on social media at Neptune the Chameleon. Like I mentioned before, you can check out my discount links, Patreon, merch, all that good stuff. Always linked down in the description box below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Let's get into the video. Talking with my hands a lot. Ah. <sighs>